ان الحمد لله نحمده ونصلي على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل العقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي رب سننا علما رب سننا علما يا رب سننا علما سنؤرك فلا تنسى امين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Ramatulai Alau and and I welcome you to Ramat session and it's Ramat session is all about um bringing um special guest here and and that going to be talking about Islamic topics and um and so on so today this topic is going to be about ramadan to us our special guest is going to be alamin alam please can you introduce yourself assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my name is alamin alam and i am very honored to be here as one of um the first special guest speakers alhamdulillah rabbil alamin thank you for letting me be here thank you alamin ala please can you tell us a brief about yourself so me as alamin i i currently attend ar rahman and ipg madrasa ar rahman as salatu and islamic prayer group and we do also we also do activities there too and i also go to young shall grow which is a community organized and they also do activities about um other things um i also learn about arabic because now i am studying arabic the language of arabic and the meaning and here i have some copies of this is what i am learning and also what i am teaching so if you if you'd like you can join me on tuesdays thursdays and fridays from 5 pm to 5:30 join me for easy arabic course there are three volumes here i have volume 1 and volume 2 two. there's a third volume but i don't have that here So those So I I graduated when I was 4 years old in 2015 alhamdulillah rabbil alamin at as-salatu rahman where I now um do education So now that I have graduated I don't personally I look, everybody when you've graduated including me we don't think is the end of learning because learning stops nowhere from cradle to grave learning stops nowhere talabul ilmi faridatan ala kulli muslim wa muslima seeking knowledge is compulsory upon all muslims mashallah now please how can we welcome the month of ramadan There are many ways of welcoming the month of Ramadan. The way I'm here to tell you is one way. Mari hababi ka ya Ramadan. 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 Mari hababi Maria babika ya Ramadan 
Ramadan, Nani. Oh, we love you, Ramadan. Oh, we miss you, Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Mubarak. Masha Allah. Well done, Al Amin Allah. Now, please, what is the difference between Psalm and Ramadan? Because some people get mixed up and they say Psalm is the same as Ramadan or Ramadan is different than Psalm. So please, can you tell us if there is a difference or they're the same thing? So there is difference because Psalm, Arabic term means fasting and Ramadan is a month of the 12th calendar of the 12 months um, in the Islamic calendar. They are Muharram, Safa, Rabiul Awa, Rabiul Thani. These are the months of Islam. Jumad al Ula, Jumad al Ukhra, Rajab and Shaba. Ramadan, Ramadan, Ramadan and Shawal. Dul Qadda and Dul Hijja, Hijja. These are the months of Islam. So these are the 12 Islamic months of Islam. So Ramadan is the one that is coming and Psalm is fasting, like just normal fasting, abstaining from eating and drinking and other things that can break our fast from dawn till sunset um, for 29 or 30 days. And Ramadan is the... the is the month that we fast in. Thank you, thank you, Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Now, what does Quran say about Psalm? Please. So, Quran has lots of verses that say about Ramadan, Psalm, and fasting. But there's one key verse that I'm here to tell you. Quran 2, verse 183 says, A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu Naam Kutiba alaykum usiyam Kama kutiba ala ladhina min qablikum Meaning, oh, you who have believed, decreed upon you is fasting, as well as decreed upon those before you that you may become righteous. In Yoruba, Mope and you all about Bow Dodo, Olom She, Awe, Laura, Lenny Lori, Kegebi, Otisha, Fawa, Tiwatisiwa, G, Ki, LJ, and Nitomala. So fasting it has been decreed upon us. It has been it has been a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to fast. As he has also commanded us to do the five pillars of Islam. Shahada, Salah, Zakah, and Hajj. This is Psalm. So we should be doing Psalm as he has commanded us to do the rest of the pillars in Islam. Yes. So this means that Allah has commanded us to do something and we can't disobey him. Otherwise, if we do, the punishment is coming and we all obey Allah, inshallah. Now, please, what are the benefits of fasting? Because we can't just be fasting without having a benefit. So, it that. There needs to be a benefit of fasting. So please, can you tell us the benefits of fasting? Thank you. Yes, yes. There are many benefits of fasting. So fasting has many benefits, to be honest. So fasting, the benefit of fasting, you'll get reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he commanded us to fast. Number two. Like, like he has commanded us to pray salah, we get a lot of reward. Zakah pilgrimage many more so 
we fast for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We also fast for forgiveness because we are all sinners. So we also yes. ask for forgiveness from Allah. That's when He will forgive us. Yes. This time is the real time to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Especially the the powerful night, Laylatul Qadr, which is better than a thousand nights. Yes. SubhanAllah. Yes, MashaAllah. Yes, indeed. Now, does it mean that everyone has to fast? Like, everyone has to fast? Okay, so thank you for that question. But there are some people who have exceptions to fast, that they are not allowed to fast. But after that, after their period or after when they have grown or yeah, then that's when they have to fast. Number one, the sick, the real, like the really sick people, they're in the hospital, they need, they can't fast. But when they are recovered, then they have to make their fast. Because they can't, because it, yeah. Number two, the elderly people who, 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 who normally, yeah, they can't actually get into the mode of fasting because of, how their body is number three pregnant people women because they they need the baby inside needs to have some milk number four and um, breastfeeding women because the the baby also needs to have a um, milk there too but when these um, women have have finished like their baby is like a child normal then they then that's when they the still children they don't need to they they can fast but that fasting is not it also reward there but um, that fasting is normally just like to practice to get their body inside um there and little children they're not allowed to fast yes thank you yes and now it is time for calling time, you can call in and ask a question or you can call in or tell us about what you know. And the dial number is 074-38-105-8551. Bismillah, now you can call in. 0743 eight one zero five eight five one again zero seven four three eight one zero five eight five one when you have received the when we have when you when the call has went in and we have received it then please tell us your name and where you're calling from would very appreciate that So Ramadan, Ramadan is the month of fasting, is the month of giving, is the month of sacrifice, is the month of forgiveness, is the month of everything. And there's one powerful night called Laylatul Qadr. Even there's a surah that talks about Laylatul Qadr. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ كَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرٍ تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالرُّوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرٍ سَلَامٌ هِيَ حَتَّى مَطْلَعِ الْفَجْرِ So this is the surah that speaks about Laylatul Qadr. And in the last time in last 10 nights of Ramadan or last 10 days of Ramadan, this is when the sincere prayer, the tawbah, is meant to be done. Because this is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you a great reward. But this is not just the great reward. The great reward is in the hereafter, a jannah, Allah Akbar. Now see how merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. He'll give you reward here and reward there. Now there's a Rabbana that we can say for him to bless us here. And also in the hereafter. Now please say it with me. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanata wa fil akhirati hasanata wa 
Wakina Ada Bana. May Allah forgive all our sins and may Allah also forgive um, what we have done that's um that's bad and abstain us from the hellfire. Amen. Now please it's calling time. Please can you call this number for any questions or you want to say something about Ramadan? The number is zero seven four three eight one zero five eight five one zero seven four three eight one zero five eight five one zero seven four three eight one zero five eight five one We are free to answer any questions or free to get uh, any advice. <clears throat> Please, where have you memorized up to? So, Alhamdulillah, I mean, for the effort that I've put in, and also for the effort that my parents, everyone has put in for me, I memorize now up to Surah Al Ankabut, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Please, can you read one or two verses from it? A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Alif lam mim Ahasiban nasu an yutraku an yaqulu Amanna wa hum la yuftanun Wa lakud fatanna alladheena min kablihim Falayalamanna Allah alladheena sadaku Wa layalamanna alkadhi Jazakallah khairan, Jazakallah khairan, MashaAllah. <clears throat> yeah, you mentioned that you are learning translation. Yes, I am learning tra translation. Please, do you know the translation of Surah Al-Fatiha? Yes, I do and I can tell you. Bismillah. In the name of Allah, I seek refuge, I seek refuge in Allah against a shaitan and the rejected one. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. All praise be to Allah, Lord of all the worlds. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. The beneficent, the merciful. Maliki Yawmiddin. Master of the day of judgment. Iyak and Abu Dhuwa Iyak Nistaim. Thee alone we worship and thee alone we ask for help. Edina Surat al Mustaqim. Guide us to the right path. Surat al Ladina Nim Ta'alehim. The path of those who are favored. Zayr al Magdubi Alihim Mala Dalim. Amin. Not the path of those who have gone astray. Amin. Tell us about suhoor and iftar. So, normally in Ramadan, you go to the mosque to do iftar, suhoor sometimes. And some you can also do it at home. Suhoor is something that you eat so that you can fast for that um, period from dawn till sunset. And iftar is what you use to break your fast, what you eat when that period has finished. What is ta Tarawi, please? Tarawi is a prayer, amount of records 20, 16, 18, 14, 12, 10, 4, 8, yeah, so on. And this is done in the night, is done in the um, night, and we're, no, we normally read long surah for this. Masha Allah. Please <clears throat> call this number for any questions or any advice. 074 3810585. 074 3810585. 
Thank you everybody for joining my session, for joining Ramat session today and I hope you enjoyed the session today <clears throat> and please I will call the number again 074-38-105-851 That is the number to dial in if you want any questions or if you want any advice. Speak to me or speak to me. And remember when you call in, say your name and where you're calling from. Thank you. Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah, the beneficent, the beneficent, the most merciful, the most merciful. Oh Allah, my Lord, oh Allah, my Lord, oh Allah, my God, oh Allah, my God, bless my people, bless my people, bless my teachers. Bless my teachers, bless my family, bless my family. Protect me, Allah, protect me, Allah. Accept my prayers, accept my prayers. Have mercy on me, have mercy on me. Increase my knowledge, increase my knowledge. Oh Allah, oh Allah, we are the most. Yes, I have one cooler. Assalamu alaikum. Please, what's your name and where you're calling from? My name is Abdullah. I'm from London. Yes, do you want to ask a question or do you want to give advice? Yes, what I want to say is that we really enjoy the program and humble life for the children of your age doing something of this nature. You do very, 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 very great job. Mashallah, I just want to congratulate you that may Allah continue to increase your knowledge. Amen. Amen. Our Ramadan session may Allah make it continue to grow very well. Amen. Yes. 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 May Allah continue to increase in knowledge. Amen. 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 Um, yes, I am. Yes, she also is. So, Young Child Girl is, is, a, Young Child Girl is a community that organizes trips, such as Nottingham, we go to trips. We also go to many other places. We go to and um, yeah, we go to many places. We also do many activities. So Young Shall Grow is founded in March 2017, and it aims to bring children together of the community as a team to make one unite. Yes. No, it's free for you to do it. You can do it any time. You do it in the month of Ramadan when you when you feel like you want to do it. No, my question is because you know we cannot go to the mosque at the moment. Yes. No, you can do it at mosque or at home. Yeah, but if it stops, then we can go to mosque or we can do it at home. Yes. Yes, I'm, I think I, we can do it at home. I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Why yak? Thank you.
والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Yes, we have received one cola. Alhamdulillah. Now we're going to end this session today. Alhamdulillah, al alamin. Glory be to Almighty Allah. Please, can you make dua for us? Yes, I will. Everybody, please put your hands together. Be saying Ami while I'm saying it. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع الدعاء. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم. وتوب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت تواب رحيم. ربنا إنك جامع الناس اليوم لا يبى فيه إن الله لا يخلف مياه. ربنا تقبل دعاءنا. وكيامنا. وركوعنا. وسجودنا. وتوافنا. وصيامنا. وصلاتنا. وزكاتنا. ربنا اغفرلي والي والي ديا والمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب امين ربنا اجرنا من النار آمين. ربنا انك عفو تهب العفو فافونا امين ربنا انزل مائدة من السماء تقول لنا ادة للاولين والاخرين وايه منك وارزقنا وانت خير الرازقين امين ربنا اتينا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب امين ربنا اتينا من لدنك رحمه واي لنا من امنا رشدا امين ربنا اتينا في دين حسنا وفي الله Thank you everybody for joining my session today and I hope you like it and I hope you will come next time inshallah I will update to you the next time we're going to be doing it Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu wa la ilaha ila Allah wa nastagfiruka wa natawba ilaha Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Ma'assalam